All right, so these are going to be some uh, tips and tactics that are going to help you improve your uh, Modern Warfare and Call of Duty gameplay by a lot in general. I'm going to teach you guys how to stay alive longer and how to get more kills using your teammates and, of course, your minimap awareness. So, for the past couple of years, obviously, Call of Duty has been a thing. And something that still shocks me to this day is that almost no content creators, at least that I have seen, have ever talked about this and of course by this I mean the strategies and tactics that I'm gonna share in this video so with that said let's get started right here I'm gonna get a kill and then I'm gonna start getting shot from the junkyard but it also you know maybe like there was a bad guy like that was also gonna be coming in my direction since I saw him with high alert as you guys can see two teammates spawned right in front of me and they went towards where I was getting shot from which is why I then started peeking towards the junkyard I used my teammates as cover to watch my back to then get the bad guys that were going to be coming from the junkyard because that's where I mostly got shot from. That's pretty much a basic tactic that again was going to one, help me stay alive and two, actually get me more potential kills. But yeah, that guy killed me, he just appeared out of nowhere and I also failed my drop shot when I also lived. Whatever, you're gonna make mistakes when you're playing COD, you might as well just let them go, otherwise you're just gonna get super frustrated and you're not gonna enjoy the game. Look, my entire team is literally right next to me, and something that I see here is that, oh shit, this guy is coming at me from Shantytown, which leads me to the conclusion, one, the entire enemy team is gonna start spawning in the office, and two, chances are that they're either in the Shantytown, you know, there are some bad guys in the Shantytown, or of course, in the junkyard. And again, that's what this video is about, right? Staying alive longer by using your teammates and of course getting more kills by also using your teammates. You guys need to pay attention where your teammates are at because I know it sounds crazy, but where your teammates are at is where the bad guys are not going to be. And if that was as like general knowledge as it actually seemed, more people would actually stay alive longer and get more kills in my Call of Duty games, but well, I don't really see that happening very often, again, because something so simple is something that a lot of cloud players just don't really understand, I guess. Anyways, <laughs> let's continue on. I see that my teammates are all towards the A bank and of course towards the left side of the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start rotating more towards the right side of the map. Again, I'm using my teammates to get more kills and stay alive. I'm using them as information and look, I was right. Some guy ended up turning up behind me, whatever. Let's fast forward. I see that there's a guy over here in the uh, you know, junkyard. I'm just gonna camp for two reasons. One, there's a teammate of mine that is looking at the center area. And two, there's a teammate of mine, I can see him in my minimap that he's at the A bank, which means that I'm not going to get flanked at all whatsoever. In that scenario, again, I use my teammates to stay alive because, again, knowing where my teammates are also guarantees my safety, sometimes. Um, but also, knowing that I could watch this high traffic area was going to give me the opportunity to get some free guaranteed kills while also, of course, being safe from getting shot from the back. I see that most of my teammates are towards the back side of the map and some of us are starting to rotate towards the office, so what does that lead me to? Well, there's going to be bad guys coming in from the that back spawn or of course the top of the office. I see that my tag gets picked up, so I'm going to use that as information to pick up this double kill. Always pay attention to the objective in grind, in kill confirm. I'm going to talk about other modes in the future, but the point is if you're paying attention to uh, you know your tags and if you're also paying attention to where your teammates are again You're gonna get more kills and you're going to stay alive So what I was thinking throughout this gameplay is that most of my teammates are by the shanty town or of course by the junkyard Which means that if the bad guys are gonna be somewhere it's going to be close to the a bank so I'm just gonna climb up here and uh, I'm going to see what's gonna be happening. I see all of my teammates in the office which leads me to one conclusion the bad guys are on the B bank or in shantytown again I'm using my teammates for information to of course get kills and also stay alive because that's another thing that I want to mention in this video 
if you guys know where the bad guys are going to be at and where the bad guys are going to be coming from you're going to be able to stay alive longer and of course you're also going to be anticipating them uh right here i kind of get a little bit outplayed by bone block i try to drop shot this guy but then i like freeze up and uh this other dude kills me oh well too bad so sad right everybody makes mistakes everybody has those days look I'm gonna head on over to the B bank. Why? Because I just got killed in this area and I know that for the most part there's going to be bad guys there. Like I said earlier, if you know where the bad guys are, you're pretty much gonna be prepared and it's almost going to be a guaranteed kill, right? I know that you have to have some pretty decent aim to actually do, you know, pretty well in Call of Duty, but also knowing where the bad guys are gonna be at is actually going to give you some opportunities to, for example, set up your aim, etc, etc. Right here, I kind of got destroyed by this spawn. So, let's see how I'm going to use my teammates for information. I see that all of my teammates are on the right side of this map, so I know that I'm not going to get flanked from the right side of the map. I see that this guy throws a smoke grenade. My C4 doesn't do shit. There's a guy peeking the center area. Another teammate just is like right behind me so i know i'm not gonna get shot from the back i actually camped that line of sight for a while and didn't find anything then i saw this guy on the a bank i tried to get him but damn it just sucks when your kill is stolen so right now i'm going to push on forward towards the offices i'm going to get this guy and then i'm going to go up and then i'm going to pay attention to what my teammate is doing like you know the one that's on the bottom floor See, I knew that if my teammate turned around that he didn't really see anybody in the spawn, which means that, of course, most of them were going to be on the B spawn. Oh yeah, and also the UAV let me know that the bad guys were going to be at the B spawn, so that's why I'm going to be pushing towards this general direction. Alright, that's another example of using the minimap as a way to stay alive and, of course, also get more kills. Staying alive because I'm paying attention to like where the bad guys are at and also getting more kills because again I'm going to where the bad guys are at instead of just camping. Yo, sometimes you know like when I was like writing the tips that I wanted to share in this video I was like I kind of feel like I'm just saying obvious things but I'm so sorry guys like these are things that I just never really see in my games. Anyways, let's take a look at what I'm doing over here. I have no teammates in this area of the map, right? Except that I have, you know, this one guy on the center of the map. So, I know that the bad guys, that's right, are going to be in this general vicinity. I actually had really shit in there and um, got a little destroyed. So, I that sucks. Let's take a look at this other clip. I know I have two teammates coming up behind me, so I'm going to rush into cover because I know the bad guys are going to start focusing on the teammates that are going to be coming through the corridor, but the bad guys didn't do that. They just kept focusing on me. That sucks. But in that, uh, you know, sort of scenario, I was planning to use my teammates as bait so that I can get an easy kill. Anyways, a simple, easy, 32 kill game just because I was paying attention at where my teammates were rotating and where I was going to rotate to get more kills. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop it a like, subscribe to join the Sarvaje Cartel. Hope you guys like these rotating tips in Call of Duty. I'm sure if you're just starting out in the franchise or you've been playing it for a while and you just want to stay alive and get more kills, this video is going to be helping you out big time. See you guys in the next one and peace out.